<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here, please, take this. My own recipe. It disinfects, improves coagulation, and boosts wound healing process. Practice makes perfect, I guess. I mean, it worked enough, I guess. I think I burned off my eyebrows. Yes, yes. Fine. Good. I can't talk right now. This place isn't safe anymore. I'll call you on the radio when I've resettled. I gotta go. Got to go. You have my wolf Spain. Good. I'm sure it was not an easy task. Wait, I've got something for you. You've earned it. What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back yesterday, but Aida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? 
Man, I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out too. Maybe I'll talk to Harun. Not here. Oh, well, you'd better go find him. You want Antisin? Need to find Harun. Nobody likes Harun, but if you ask me, he's the only one who knows what needs to be done. You can't be tough and be popular, right? You see what I'm saying? Do you know where Harun is? I saw Harun earlier. He was telling Gersa that we should surround the village with tiger traps. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm looking for Harun. Harun? If a toothache was a man, it would be Harun. If you see him, could you push him into a hole? Where can I find Harun? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls reside. Eating fish heads, perhaps. Yes, Mina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me. And my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. What did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there, and then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more, but that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppets. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him, and told me to run. So I did. It's all right, Yasmina. I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. Arun? Can't you see I'm busy? Why'd you force that woman to leave the village? You mean Ida? She's infected. All infected gotta go outside. Is that Gersel's rule? Some people don't want to make the tough calls around here. Well, I did. If Ida didn't want to get thrown out, she shouldn't have let herself get bit. Tough luck. Bad break. What about her kids? What about them? 
There's no answers in around here. I was doing them a favor so they wouldn't have to watch us hacking up their mum when she turns into a fucking monster. I'm starting not to like you. Hey, I'm not looking for trouble. You seem like a good guy. Have a nice day, okay?
Hang on, take it easy, take it easy. I won't hurt you. You're Jamil, right? Y yes Okay, I'm looking for your mom. Can you tell me where she is? Yasmina was bitten by one of those creatures. So mom took her to a man that found a medicine that fell from the sky. She said his name was Salim. Do you know where Salim lives? In the tool shop. All right, now listen to me, Jamil. I'm going to go get your mom and come back for you. So you wait right here, okay? Okay, just come back soon. All right, we will. Don't worry. Salim! Salim, we need to talk! Go away! I'm armed, so you better get the hell out of here. You have to let Ida go! You mean that stupid woman? She's dead. She was infected, so I had to kill her. Now, her daughter says you have antizin. I don't know anything about this. It has nothing to do with me. Salim, I'm not leaving without her. Oh, yeah? So you want to have a party? How about I invite some more guests?
God, what has he done to you? Take it easy, take it easy, you're free. Yasmina, my daughter, she went... She's safe, she's back at the village. Your son's still hiding at the house where you left him. What am I going to do? We can't stay in the village. Haron will throw us out again. You're going to take your kids and go to the tower. I want you to find a doctor there named Lena. Tell her that Crane says to take care of you, and that he'll make sure there's enough antizin for you and your daughter. You are Crane? Yeah, yeah, I'm Crane. Now go back to Jamil, he's waiting for you. Yasmina's with your sister. <sighs> Thank you for being kind to me. I didn't think there was any kindness left. Yeah, who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatim. We work for Mr. Da, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatim! Get off the radio! It's going to make him mad, you idiot! Stop talking or I will punch you! Punch me? I'll kill you! Idiosyncratic, great. While we were scouting this place, they were determined to make us talk. Thank you, my friend. If you hadn't come along when you did, they would have beaten us to death. Far, Rice's man really found something. Something valuable? Yeah, is dynamite worth a lot? Dynamite is gold. We could cook you up something special with that. Kurt's a natural when it comes to this stuff. All right, one pack for you, the rest for me. Kurt will figure out how to give it some oomph. We'll be in touch. You have 
no idea what you're doing. Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes. How did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. <sighs> well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. in about an hour. So whatever you're doing, people, better start wrapping it up and get back to the tower. your hooks. Ha, incredible! We have underestimated him. Well, we can hardly be blamed for that. Look at him. Are we done? You're done. We have work to do. And when we're finished, we'll leave some zip lines up for you. Yes, we know how you primates like to swing from the vines. 